okay in this video or in this exercise we will try to consume the cds which we created and this cds which has two level of association how we want or how we can use the fields of the CDS which is easy but we'll stress on how to use the fields of the association in the ABAP program that is a little bit tricky and you need to or someone needs to tell you the first time so normally in the other trainings I did not see anyone teaching me but uh, is there in one of the CDS books which I referred and I'll be happy to show you how we can consume or use the CDS in our ABAP program so so here's an ABAP program so what I'll do um, I'll just make a screen small so that I have both in one screen so I want to consume this CDS all right so what I'll do so I'll say select say I know Lifner uh, these days you can give comma in the new syntax right this this is my S4 HANA system so I can use it the new syntaxes and say land one I'm not selecting anything else for now just for demo purpose from what is the CDS name this is the CDS name from this and I'll use inline de declaration into table so if you do not know the new syntax or ABAP on HANA then I would suggest you can take our uh, instruction instructor led live training so which uh, happens every alternate month so you can email us if you want to learn more about it so we had our first batch in january so we'll again have our next batch in march so if you are interested you may contact us so we'll teach all the details of the new programming models in sap hana so we'll start with the basic new sql why we need hana uh, what are the new features we'll talk about cds in details amdp adbcs uh, the SQLs, uh, all those stuff. So in the, that is a detailed training which uh, all the ABAPers who will be working in SAP HANA or S4 HANA in near future, they should uh, take that training. Okay, coming back to this exercise. So I'll just say I'm doing an inline declaration. So with inline declaration means I don't need to define the types and then say uh, type uh, li table type standard table of types uh, define the work area. No, we do not do that anymore so the coding has become or the programming has become more simpler and efficient so i am selecting it and this is called a host variable so this at the rate will just tell the system that this whatever is falling behind is not anything related to the select it is actually uh, data which is um, which is owned by the editor okay this is outside of the select so this is somewhere here you can see so into this and then i'll give a full stuff sorry full stuff should be here so this is let's check the syntax all right so you do not need space so let's remove the space and then let's activate it so what we did uh, we did not select any association yet so i'm going one step at a time I'm just selecting the fields which are there in the CDS. I did not select any association fields till now. So let's see this and then we can see the output. So say if 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 any data is found, if size server C equal to zero, or you can say and if I could have used the side line exist, but that's fine. So I'll use the class, the demo class, which is very useful, which SAP has provided for testing. So I'll use this. So there is a demo class and I know there is a, a method called display. If you don't know, you just do control space, you'll get display. And then you just need to give the table name. So li po vendor. And then I'll just do a pretty printer and then activate okay my pre printer, pre -printer, pre -printer, pre printer is not set up so I'll just activate let me set it up also so if someone doesn't know how to set the pre printer I just in that convert and uppercase now I'll say keyword uppercase activate so this is a normal lab app okay this is nothing new and then pre printer and then I'll say activate one more time 
so the output should give me what the Lifner matner Lifner or then the vendor name and the country so if I execute so that's all we get now if you want to use the fields of this association how do you use that so the trick is you need to use a slash this slash and then you give the association name so gpo head and then you give a dash so you don't give a dot there dot you give in hana studio not in the abap editor you need to give a dash and then say i say what are the fields available here so if i go in the hana studio i do f3 it will take me back to the cds i do f3 then i know the cds definition and what are the fields available here i still don't know so i'll say i'll give i want this one so i'll say i want the ekorg and then i'll say i also want the po number all right so po number is ebe ln now activate this and we our inline declaration is still valid because this is the beauty of new syntax the um, the data type will be automatically adjusted based on the select so now earlier we had only this three now you see we have said that this is an association and then we want the field of association ekorg and the field of association ebln so if i do f8 we should have extra two columns there here you go so you have ekorg and ebln so this is how you fetch data with one level of drill down or one association but now if i go here i know that this po header will in turn use po item so how let me show you one more time so if you see on my right hand side i have this uh, table so i'm using this table uh, sorry cds view right in this cds view i am having this po head as my association and in this association what is the cds use gsy association if i do f3 it will take me to the cds view now in the cds view we have another association right now i want to use the values of this association so what is the association this association is nothing but ekko so if i double click here or if i do f3 it will take me to ekko definition and then i can pull any and data of ekq so don't be confused uh, this is nothing but se11 if you go to se11 and pull ekq this is the definition at the uh, which is shown in the edit okay so this is se11 so if i want to do double drill down that's what i am trying to say so if i have one association that is zpo head so i don't do a dash that is the key here you don't do a dash and then you do uh, zpo item no you don't do this it will not help so what you have to do instead of dash you should do the slash one more time and then you can get the whatever you the item so whatever whatever item so you have to i forgot a dash underscore there so i know e b e l p i can give that and then i can also give so i'll just copy this and then i can give matner and i can also give plant and let's activate this so again the inline declaration this this data type will be adjusted automatically so now we have extra three columns which are coming from the second um, association so this is a two level drill down now if i hit f8 here you go so this three eblp matner and works these are coming from the ek po table while ebln and ekrg these are coming from ekq table and the first three lifner and name one land one they're coming from lfa1 so i hope uh, you will be able to use the associations and its fields in the normal abap program too so if you find any difficulty in your real project just drop us a note and we'll try to help you out